that thing, boy. Everything's gonna be all right. Whoa, ha, got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. I said, ha, got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. Be all right. Be all right. Be all right. Hey, on this Father's Day, <clears throat> I want to take you to a passage of scripture that is a story that is actually rather familiar to uh, so many of us who are, are who have ever read the Bible. Because most people, and they know this. If they don't, if they don't know no other story, they know this one. And that would be in the book of Genesis. And. <clears throat> For time's sake, this morning I am going to uh, go to the fourth chapter, and I believe it is the 17th verse. And this is very obscure to preach, especially on a Father's Day. But it says in Genesis chapter 4, verse 17, Cain knew his wife one of Adam's descendants, and she conceived and gave birth to Enoch. And Cain built a city and named it Enoch after the name of his son. Just for a few moments, I want to talk to you from this subject, a father's pain. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you be glorified, the body be edified, and the devil horrified. In the name of Jesus, we pray, and all of God's people said, amen. You may be seated in the beauty of holiness. Uh, as, we, we, as we reflect on this passage of scripture, we, we know that Cain is the son of Adam. Adam actually had six children, and it's interesting to note <clears throat> that at the very beginning of Adam's existence, Adam was a single man. He was alone. He had no one to talk to. He had uh, no one to, to, to make his coffee in the morning or his fried chicken in the evening. He, he, had, he, had, he had no one to clean up after him. He had to do his own laundry. Uh, he, and, and, and I'm here to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that, I, I, it, that, that there is a, a perk in being in a relationship, but there's also some perks in being single. Come on, talk back to me here. Uh, 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 wh whether we are whether we are married or whether we are single, there are, are, are many many things that go on. And God saw that Adam was alone, and so God became an anesthesiologist and put him to sleep. He became a surgeon and he removed a rib. He became a cosmetic constructionist and he uh, fashioned a new body. He became a transplant surgery and he placed. Uh, uh, the rib into a new body. Uh, he became a respiratory therapist and he breathed the breath of life into this being and then he changed his clothes and he put on a clerical collar and a robe and when Adam woke up out of a deep sleep, God was standing there as a wedding officiant and, and as uh, uh, he wakes up he sees this thing of beauty and he says whoa man and God responds, do you take her as your wedded wife? And as a man who has been alone for a very long time, I'm sure this had to be a serious adjustment. Ah, just think about it. Sharing, compromising, altering 
a lifestyle can be a daunting task if you've been alone and single for a long time. It'll make you cringe, if you will. Uh, 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 when, you, when, 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 when you know that living single has its perks. You, you can eat what you want to eat. You can wear what you want to wear. You can stay out as long as you want to stay out. There is nobody complaining about you. Uh, uh, you left something in the middle of the floor or prodding you or, or where you going and how long you going to be there and, and been trying to get you to go around people you don't want to be around and even trying to drag you to spend time with in-laws and friends that you don't like and they don't like you. But now Adam has companionship. He has conversation. He has intimacy. And uh, as uh, he continues to adjust to this new life, there are obstacles that now threaten this relationship. And one bad decision after another leads uh, to change their lives forever. For, uh, let, let's just set the record straight. Uh, the devil doesn't have a red face. He doesn't have arched eyebrows. He doesn't have horns. He doesn't have a tail. Sorry to tell you, ladies, the devil is fine. Mm -hmm. He's Aladdin fine. He's Adonis fine. He's in this house. Denzel fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks good. He smells good. And most importantly, the devil talks good. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he engages her in stimulating conversation. And I'm here to let you know that, that, that I'm sure that you have met somebody in your life, in this lifetime rather, uh, that, 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 that they were just mind numbing. I'm talking about uh, those, uh, um, those conversations that are dominant, dominant conversa conversators. Uh, those are the people who have no interest in, uh, in, in, in anything that, that you've got to say. Uh, or how about uh, those people who are conversation bullies? Those are the people who reject and refute any opinion you may have. Or maybe you have met somebody who is the interrogationist. Uh, uh, the, the inter uh, uh, the one who picks and probes into everything you say because anything and everything you say will be used against you when you get mad. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, he engages her in stimulating conversation, which leads to a spiritual and even worse, an emotional affair. I might as well stick this pen here. You don't have to have sex to have an affair. Who is quiet in here now? Yeah, 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 yeah. She, uh, because what happens is she begins to talk to the devil and she takes the devil's word over her husband's word, which ultimately was God's word. Let me say that one more time. She, she, she takes the devil's word over her husband's word, which was actually God's word. How can two walk together unless they agree? And Adam has adjusted from the single life and forgets actually who he is. He was created in the image and the likeness of God. He was created beautifully and wonderfully made. He was given charge of everything. He's living rent free, bill free, sickness free, pain free, disease free, commotion free, drama free. Uh, I, I just wonder is there anybody here that can just say to some of these people, you know, I'm sorry, um, no hips, no no lips, no breasts, no thighs, no sick pack abs, no bulging biceps, no sheepish grin, no good smelling cologne, no fancy car uh, or diamond ring, no big booty or dingling. I will let nothing separate me from the love of God. You got to get to that point where you know who you are and who's you are because the truth of the matter is there are snakes in the boardroom and maybe in your bedroom 
There may be snakes in the doghouse, but we already know there's also one in the White House. Uh, there are snakes on the phone, and they might be right there in your home. I'm here to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, a walking, talking snake can change your life forever. And because of this, now all of a sudden, the man who had everything is now evicted because he had to make a choice in between his woman and his God. Lord have mercy, Jesus. And that, that, that's, that's pretty hard when, when you gotta when, 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 when you know what it's like to be in lonely, but 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 you'd rather die with her than live with God. And, and, and his lifestyle before her actually was very very interesting because he didn't have anything to look forward to but some time with God there was no telephone there was no Facebook there was no YouTube there was no newscast he, uh, when he got up and made the coffee in the morning only thing he could do was just look at the beauty that God had made and as he came home from work he got so excited to the point man I can't wait to spend some time with God I, I have not I've been talking to animals all day. They can't talk back to me. I've been talking to trees. They can't talk back to me. I'm looking for that quality time with God. But now all of a sudden, uh, her company is more important than his company. Y'all not hearing what I'm saying. And that's where trouble comes in. Because now he chooses his woman over his God. And there's a riff in the relationship because his choice makes him lose everything he's got. He loses his home, he gets evicted. He loses his job. He's no longer the CEO of the Garden of Eve. Now he's a blue collar worker, as the Bible says, uh, working for thorns and looking for thistles. But I have to give this to Adam. He was a forgiving man. Because I'm sorry to tell you, uh, I think I would have a big problem trying to be intimate and close to Eve ever again. She cheated with a walking, talking snake. But yet the Bible says that Adam forgave her. And as the Bible says, knew her. And she begat a son named Cain. The oldest boy. And the problem child. Adam did everything that he possibly could to bring his former life into his new life. But it was now a struggle. And now he, he has this problem child by the name of Cain. Cain is a gardener and he is out planting things and growing things, but he does not respect what God respects. Uh, he, he's the type of dude that'll just bring anything any old kind of way. I, I, I can imagine Cain as, as a little boy, uh huh. You tell him uh, to clean the kitchen and he half washed the dishes. Uh, he, 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 he's the kind of guy, you, you, you know, you go clean your room, uh huh, and everything, including uh, his dirty dishes, is up under the bed. Uh, 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 Cain is the kind of guy that, that no matter how many times you tell him to do right, he thinks he's always right and does does everything wrong. Cain decides one Sunday morning that instead of bringing God his best, he brought God his second best. I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen, but 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 uh, it's just something uh, about giving God your best you know I find it amazing uh, Andre that this that there are many individuals who will get uh, who, who will get dressed up 
and look good for people who they'll never see. But when it comes down uh, uh, to God, uh, they just come to him any old kind of way. Uh, uh, matter, matter of fact, they, they, they'll do better for God, do better for anybody else than they will for God. But how many know, ladies and gentlemen, that we must give God our best? And the bad part about Cain is, is this. He has a bad attitude. He's got a very, very bad attitude because, because he, he brings this offering to God. <laughs> and God says, you know, that's not your best. And instead of saying, you know, God, you're right, he decides to say God is wrong and then take his anger out on his brother. Hmm. I'm here to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, that some of you may have been under attack by individuals and you wondering why they're angry and they're upset with you. They're not angry and upset with you. They're angry with God because God will not compromise. He won't compromise like Adam. He won't compromise like Eve. He is never going, going to go fall short of his word. People that will try to push you to be uh, somebody that you are not. Matter of fact, they will try to take you back to where you used to be. But God says, I've raised the standard up in you. There is no compromise. You are going to stand on the word and be everything I have made made you out to be I don't know about you ladies and gentlemen but 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 there are some individuals they're not mad with you they're mad with God they just take it out on you and they may not murder you but let me tell you what they do they'll kill your spirit they'll kill your drive they'll kill your energy they'll kill your dreams They'll kill your vision. Uh, they're spilling uh, the blood of your spirit all on the ground. And then uh, when God comes up to question them, uh, they got attitude again. Saying, am I my brother's? keeper. You ought to be careful about manipulative spirits. Uh -huh. uh, those vexed spirits. Uh, those individuals uh, that no matter how many opportunities they have to make the right choice, they always want to make the wrong, wrong choice. Uh, I'm here to let you know I feel Ray Charles up in here. You ought to tell them, get the road Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more because that's exactly what God did he sent Cain out to be a wanderer and he his, the rest of his life was nothing but struggle and if you can imagine if you can just imagine the pain of Adam here is, here is a father who has made some terrible mistakes himself and didn't wish it on his children but yet his child murders his brother think of the pain it is for now for Adam to now see his son Cain in the same predicament that he was in. I just want to let you know, uh, 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 there are a lot of parents, both mother and father, let me tell you, they don't mean no harm. They just been there, done that, got a t-shirt, and trying to help you not to be hurt like they've been hurt, to be broke like they've been broke, to, 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 so you don't have to struggle like they have struggled. They ain't trying to hurt you. They try to help you. And, uh, that pain that Adam must have felt that now his son is wandering struggling just trying to get by but even in your struggle you ought to see the mercy of God on your life <laughs> regardless of the pain or the hurt or the anguish or the disappointment may have gone through I'm here to let you know that God uh, is still going to get glory out of your story 
But now here is Cain, a vagabond, wandering until he lands into a city called Nod. And there he meets his bride. And out of all of the things this boy could do was now to replicate something just like him. Mm. <laughs> because if you look at the lineage of Cain, uh, all of those guys were hell raisers. All of those guys, <laughs> uh, 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 they just bust hell wide open. All uh, seven generations that the Bible goes through, uh, each and every one repeats the same stubborn stuff over and over again. And I'm here to let you know, uh, sin perpetuates itself until you repent. Oh yeah, there, there, there we go. Sin will continue to reproduce itself over and over again until you learn how to repent. What is repent? It means, dummy, let the light bulb come on and recognize that you ain't all you think you are. Seven generations of kids, most of them, we don't know what the world they did. But the few that we do know about, you don't even want to know about. If they lived <laughs> in this century, <laughs> uh, they would be on the news on the front page of the news every day. <laughs> if, 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 if they live today, uh huh, we would be talking about them on Facebook every day. Uh, we would be looking at them and wondering what in the world is going on. Let me tell you what's going on. Until parents first get themselves right with God, their children will never get themselves right with God. One plants, another waters, but only God can make it grow. <laughs> oh, if by chance <laughs> that seed that Cain had would have not fallen on stony ground, it would have never burnt up. Because the truth of the matter is, his daddy had a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. uh, as a matter of fact, his daddy had a good relationship with God. I did not say that Adam was a perfect man. Of course he was not. But one thing he had was a relationship with God. Uh, and you may be looking at your daddy today and you saying, my daddy wasn't crap. Well, he may, may, may not have been, but, but if by chance he had a relationship with God, uh, that's enough. There are some individuals even right now who don't even realize the pain and the anguish they're dealing with only because they don't have a relationship with God. But I can see Adam every weekend making sure his boys uh, went down and gave God a, a sacrifice of praise. I, I, I see Adam each and every day struggling all week after having a posh job, but now having to struggle to make ends meet. But yet, he said, uh, I, I, I don't they slay me, yet will I trust you all the days of my appointed time. I can wait until my change come. I'm going to stand here and I'm going to worship God. I'm going to praise God. I'm going to magnify God. I'm going to glorify God. But then the look and you got a cane who doesn't even respect God. 